Om Atlantan together. Om Gyana Timirandus, Yana Jana Sarakaya, Shurun Miritam Yena, Tasmai, Sri Guru Vinamaha, Sri Chaitanya Manu, Sahagana <laughs> A Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dinabando Jagat Pate, Gopi Sagoti Kakanta, Rada Kanta Namaste, Sapta Kanchana Gaurangi, Ramha Vrinda Vanesari, Visavano Sute Devi, Pranamani Hari Priye, Vanchakarpa Druhesha, Kripa Sindhu Vyasa, Patitana Padni, Vyovishnavi, Vyonamo Namaha. Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So thank you so much for joining this Sangha every Saturday evening and missing few Saturdays and today we are discussing chapter 14 titled The Three Modes of Material and today's system we have come to verse number 4. Krishna is beautifully explaining, speaking to Arjuna and referring to Arjuna as Kuntaya, Sarva Yonish Kuntaya, Murtaya, Sarvantaya, Dasam Brahma Mahad Yoni, Bija Pradapita. So many profound words Krishna is saying, I am the seed giving father of all uh, living beings and for all the species he is referring to uh, Arjuna as Kontaya. That means he's referring to Arjuna as the son of Kunti. So here there is a reference, you know, Krishna is, uh, uh, you know, referring to Arjuna as, you know, Dhananjaya, Gudakesh, Kontaya, Kiriti. You know, the mood of referring to Arjuna is very significant. Wherever he will be referring to Arjuna as Gudakesh, so there will be something around controlling the mind, controlling the sleep. Wherever there is an element of referring to us as Dhana, is actually somebody who can protect and he is a Shatya and he has to protect by has to get wealth, Dhananja. And wherever there is reference to Kiriti, there is uh, pastimes around Kiriti. And likewise, here Krishna is referring to Arjuna as Kuntaya, Sarva Yoni Shukantaya, that is O son of Kunti. It means something around the progenitorship is going to be discussed here. Krishna, if you see, in every verse, he has a very nice way of putting and convincing Arjuna. He doesn't have to convince because he's the Supreme Personality of God and aware of everything. But still, he tries to explain as if the person has, you know, has little knowledge and of course, Arjuna was confused. So yes, here Krishna is saying, Sarva Yoni Shukanteya. Oh, son of Kunti, of all species of life, Murtaya Samtaya, that means made possible by art. Murtaya Sambhavantaya are made possible by art. So likewise, whenever there is a uh, father, there is a mother, and, and there, uh, in this context where we're talking about the, the mother. If Krishna is the seed giving father, who is the mother? And here uh, it is referred, uh, the mother earth is the mother. So where he is actually impregnating mother earth and thereby we all are uh, descendants of mother earth and we have a obligation to mother earth. And then he goes on to say, Tasam Brahma Mahadyoni. That means from the from the union of the seed giving father the nature, then all this progenitorship or the 
or the children are, are created. It's in this material nature, with the, with the impregnation with, of the material nature, the mother uh, with, with Krishna as the seed being father, Aham Bija Bhatta, then all the 8.4 billion species, Sarva Yoni, all the species for 8.4 million species are created by. So the, so the question becomes if Krishna is the seed giving father, we all are related to each other. We all are uh, kids of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But if we are all kids of Supreme Personality of Godhead, why are we fighting? Why are we fighting for money? Why are we fighting for fame? Why are we fighting uh, religion? So Krishna consciousness is the highest uh, unifying force in this entire world. So that's why there is no reference to a sectarian situation in Bhagavad Gita. And all our, Shlapad has said that when the Christian devotees used to come, the Muslim devotees used to come, Prabhupada used to tell them, the Krishna consciousness will make them a better Christian, a better Muslim. Krishna consciousness is not a religion. It's a way of life based on some regulation, based on a process, based on a sadhana, based on devotional service. So if we all have understood that Krishna is the giving father of all the four millions, then we will not have any cruelty to anyone. This aspect of you know, the vegetarian is just very common. And that's uh, where we resort to, you know, somebody where we are trying to offer something to Krishna and partake what is offered to Krishna. If that mindset is there, this violence in this entire world is going to go away because if you can't create life, you don't have the right to take life. So this verse has so many options. And, and Shila Prabhupada has explained it so beautifully in his purport. But I try to go back a little bit as to why, how this uh, material creation and how the expansion of Krishna as different beings is being talked about. So, as you know, from Punda Purushottam Krishna, the, uh, the first expansion, Lord Balram and, and the quadruple expansion uh, in that line is uh, Garbhadokshay Vishnu. Garbhadokshay Vishnu is sleeping in the causal ocean when he's sleeping, universes are getting created. When he's inhaling, uh, the, the universes are getting annihilated. And then from Garbhadokshay Vishnu, then uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead entering each of this universe as Hiradokshay Vishnu and from where he's getting into each universe and then from, okay, I'm sorry, I think I got it wrong. It actually starts with Karnadakshaya Vishnu, where the Karnadakshaya Vishnu is sleeping in the cosmic ocean and from the exhaling and healing process from the force, the universes are getting created. And that is Karnadakshaya Vishnu. And then from Karnadakshaya Vishnu, Karnadakshaya uh, Vishnu comes where he enters each universe. And from the name of Karnadakshaya Vishnu, Brahma appears. And Brahmaji is responsible for taking care the creativity angle for that universe perspective. So if there are millions and millions of universes, there will be several Brahmajis who are actually looking after each and every universe. Then from Garvada Vishnu, after all the human beings and the aquatics and, and 8.4 million species are created by Brahmaji, Lord enters the heart of that particular species as Kiradaksha Vishnu. So as you can see, Karana Vishnu is the globalized uh, expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead from where he is creating universes. And from there, Karana Vishnu is coming and uh, entering into each universe uh, as uh, uh, Garvadakshaya Vishnu. And then- It is, it, Prabhuji, it is Karanodakshaya Vishnu to Garbodakshaya Vishnu to Shirodai. Karana exactly. is the first. Karana Daksha is, is actually you're right and that is where i had uh, in the beginning i kind of misspoke and then uh, i did it uh, i think uh, uh, in, in the class when i recognized it and then actually from the karnadakshay vishnu who is uh, 
the causal ocean from his exhaling and inhaling the universe is getting created so that means karandaksha vishnu from where many universes are getting created and from these universes karandaksha vishnu is entering into each of these universes so karandaksha vishnu is the localized uh, for the uh, universe and then from each, into each species uh, lord expands as karandaksha vishnu and is present as paramatma our hearts so we have as you said prabhu karnadaksha vishnu then garvadaksha vishnu and kiradaksha vishnu so he here he is uh, residing in the heart of every uh, species as paramatma so in a situation you might think that you have a uh, you there is a tree and you have seen there are two birds sitting on the tree where one bird is eating the fruits of the tree and the other bird actually watching the first bird who is actually eating the fruits of the tree so the the bird which is the bird which is eating the fruits uh, the bird which which is watching is nothing but is is nothing but paramatma or the, paramatma in our heart is always watching us so every time we end up doing something right or wrong paramatma is always watching us and that is uh, the context where lord is saying that i am the seed giving father i am constantly watching you exactly like mother who when you are born he is constantly watching you you are under the protection of the father and once you surrender to the father you have nothing to lose because you have already Uh, surrender and that's where in, in shrimad bhag uh, there is uh, references to this body which is uh, if you think about it the body is, uh, in, from ayurvedic is actually made of three uh, elements three dhatus kapha pitta vayu and uh, if uh, a person thinks that the body is only this three material objects then shrimad bhagavatam says you know better than an animal because that is just the material angle because without the the soul in our these items these elements which the body is made up of from a material perspective has no meaning actually so this three dhatuke that means whenever we talk about uh, you know we all are made up of you know either you know some aspect of uh, air some aspect of uh, acid and some aspect as uh, uh, the three dhatus kapha pitta vayu that is a incorrect definition of a human being and and that is where soul which is residing in the heart of everyone whether it is a animal or a aquatic or a bird or a human being that differentiates and once the soul leaves person leaves the body that's why they say when person leaves the body that means you are a person and once the soul is out of your body then you are not a, a person you are basically a dead uh, individual and that is where um, in shrimad bhagavatam there are serious reference to we should think that we are not the body we are the soul and because we have the spark the supreme personality of god it who is present in our heart as uh, kiradaksha as uh, we discussed uh, and uh, and he is constantly watching us and and that is the reason why we have to uh, nurture him we have to pro- protect him we have to surrender to him so in that sense and 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 we are all part and parcel of the supreme am brahmasmi that means uh he, as here krishna is mentioning aham bija pradapita he is the seed giving father we all are part and parcel of the supreme and uh, and in bhagavad gita krishna mentioned vama vansho jiva bhuta that means of all living entities are my part and parcel vama vansho jiva bhuta that means this jiva uh, we all are uh, the marginal part and this jiva is they are all part and parcel of the supreme and and due to this condition uh, we are thinking that we are the body and uh, this body is controlled 
by uh, the six senses, which includes five physical senses and mind. And because of the six senses, uh, it is very difficult to comprehend that we are uh, not the body. And that is the reason why we need to really see uh, recourse from a spiritual master who can direct us. And this is exactly why we all get to, to discuss about this you know, classic concept uh, which is uh, mentioned in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Because without these tenets, we will always be considered to be someone who is relying on six senses from a pure animalistic perspective. That's where we are no different from man. The only thing which differentiates us is the recognition that we are part of the Supreme. And we have this spark, which is the soul in our heart. And that is, uh, you know, most of the time is enjoying, trying to enjoy the board in the tree. And then in addition to the soul, super soul, Ramatma, who is watching all, us all the time. And, and he is watching us, he is watching us, but we are not really careful about him. And we indulge in uh, the sense gratification. Uh, we have tendency to lord it over. And anytime we lord it over, we are essentially not following the principles of what is laid out in the scriptures, and that is where we're going astray. So, if, so as Lord is watching us all the time, as He is the Aham Bija Pradapita, what should we? And so, and that is where uh, you know Krishna uh, in uh, in the Vishnu Purana it is mentioned Jaladam Bhakshani nine hundred. There are two million uh, trees and plants. And, and this has, you know, references to Kramoyo Rudra Sankhaya. That means 1.1 million uh, species of insects and reptiles. Pakshinam Dasalakshanam, that is uh, 1 million species of birds. Timshalam Lakshani, there are 3 million varieties of quadrupeds with four legs. And Lakshani, that is 400 variety of human beings totaling to 8.2 million species. So it's very clearly mentioned in uh, Vishnu Purana that there are 8 point, if you add it up, it's all 8.4 million species. And because we have so many species, Krishna is saying is the seed giving father. And because Krishna is the seed giving father, we all are uh, kids of the same Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ramatma. And that is why we do not have the right to, you know, indulge in any form of, uh, you know, violence or whatever, because of it, you end up consuming it. And once you end up consuming it, you incur that element of, of uh, the uh, not for the right regulation. And, and whenever we are in a specific country, we follow. Uh, that country's rules, and because here Krishna is Mahambija Pratapita, and with the mother nature, we are using the mother nature, we are getting benefits of mother nature, we are uh, getting benefits of hydroelectricity is coming from the, the streams and waters, but we're truly not using it. And if you look at the current situation, you know, the, the, the pure water is depleting gradually because wasting uh, uh, water, we are uh, rather, we're not taking care of the mother nature as Krishna is the mother to us. And because we are not protected about our identity as to who we are, we are part and parcel of the Supreme And the mother nature, mother, as we are not taking care of Krishna and mother nature, we are rotting every day and that is why we need some element of introspection in our lives as to who the supreme personality of god is and how we should not sure how we should take off our uh, uh, our uh, uh, paramatma who is residing in our heart and who's watching us all the time and how so this is a, a situation which needs introspection and and most of the time we do not understand that uh, the god has created this world in a very unique form way 
a person was going and he found that uh, you know this huge plant of this little bear uh, you know this uh, bear the little uh, uh, berries which you only get in january february month but that plant is huge but the fruit it basically uh, generates are of very small nature and just below that tree there is a huge squash plant squash plant is a creeper and from the creeper you get this huge uh, you know squash you know whether it's a yellow squash or anything like that which are essentially coming from the creature so the person who was there and he saw this huge tree with a little little bear coming out and then this um, squash creeper from which this huge squash coming and he was saying what's going on you know he uh, uh he is actually uh, you know how come this supreme they've got it has created this huge plant from which this little fruits are coming and this super plant from which this huge fruit is coming he was kind of trying to understand you know he was you know trying to make fun of the supreme person that they've got it and you know then he was watching and then he fell asleep and then uh, and then when he got up he realized Uh, there is a bit of a cyclone in that area and uh, and because the cyclone was there he got caught up by the the bear which was in the tree and that hit him but but think about uh, if the supreme person had have got it would have created the plants in a totally reverse way where you have big squash big, big yellow squash in the huge tree and this little uh, bear like berries in the small creeper like plant if cyclone would have happened if uh, some kind of tornado would have happened the person who was sleeping under the tree he would be crushed under this huge coming out of the tree so then he realized that the supreme personality has made this for the right reason for the right uh, way and to the time we do not have the understanding of consciousness understand if the supreme personality of god is such that is why we need sangha we need association so the time when we discuss the sangha sometimes things we just discuss we may be knowing but when you discuss we have question and answers after the with the discussion or some form of dialogue then it basically helps us getting a new perspective of life and that's where bhagavad gita is a discussion it's not a one way street as you can see bhagavad gita was a faq it's a frequently asked question between arjuna and krishna and we should that way and we spend more we introspect more and more we discuss bhagavad gita we get more and more uh, liking for the most powerful script in the world and we were to ponder uh, where krishna is emphatically saying aham bija pita that he is a seed being father of all sarva yoni all sarv all species of life for for and uh, we can go on and on I'd like to stop here I'd like to discuss about uh, this verse as to how you have perceived this if you have any question or comments or questions we would be more than happy to discuss because So if we have understood this uh, the perspective of life in terms of how to treat others because we all are uh, related through the lineage of the supreme personality of god and we will not have cruelty we will treat every respect we will have be around us and if you can't uh, give life you can take life so that it has a, a, a tremendous deep rooted values but we can discuss uh open up and hear your questions and comments thank you so much hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji i have a question if i can go first please uh prabhu ji you have mentioned 400000 uh, human species hmm. so uh i mean is it like uh, like uh, you know the different classes of human like uh, 
what uh, the Vaishya Sudras or something like that you uh, it is categorized or it is kind of different yeah. type of uh, person. But yeah, if you see that, that the population is huge, right? Professor? Right. See, the, there are different kinds of what I mean by that uh, based on Puran is that you have you're referring to Varnashram, Varnashram means you have one Varna and uh, you have four Varnas and four Ashtamas. So you fall in an IZ, um, uh, X and Y axis, uh, depending on the skill you possess and the uh, type of age. In the Ashram but, you are on. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So in, uh, in but 400,000 species, Prabhuji is referring to different kinds of human beings. As you can know, there are, you know, Caucasians, uh, there are Mongoloids. Like that, there are many different kinds of, uh, there are different kinds of languages, there are different kinds of upbringing, there are different kinds of uh, appearance, uh, there are uh, different kinds of uh, habits. So based on that, uh, Vishnu Pura, is mentioned there are 4,000 kinds of human beings in this world based on, um, you know, different, uh, you know, uh, yoni, different, uh, uh, you know, genes like that. Uh, so that's the categorization, Prabhu. Okay. Okay, Prabhu. Any other, if you, if uh, anyone wants to add to uh, Pratap uh, Prabhu's question, you all can open up and uh, we can little, discuss a little bit. Yeah, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Then, uh, yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Um, Prabhuji, um, we, I added Bamini and Priyanka to my colleagues, Prabhuji. Very nice, very nice. Very yeah. nice. So they, they came, I think, for the first time. Bamini, sorry, last week I was so busy in Govindas, I could not even attend it, Prabhuji. Yeah. I had a, we had a birthday party at 6.30. I had to arrange everything. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for uh, joining. Uh, Prabhuji, 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 Prabhuji,
it's because their genetics their features their characteristics all are they are grouped based on those they are group prabhuji need to add that point prabhuji yeah to yeah. Thank, you. thank you prabhuji hari krishna prabhu i have another question uh, yeah. so if we can go if we have the time so definitely definitely go ahead yeah so uh, uh, i heard somewhere that uh, uh, i mean the karmic action that is applicable to on the species or it is only for the human being uh, those 400000 species uh, like let's say that someone is dead and he was born in a uh, very abominable species uh, so out of the 8.4 million or some some uh, number you mentioned prabhu so is it something like that uh, if he or she causes again uh, you know bad activities like even uh, in a uh, animal species so whether karma is applicable there or only when he promotes to a human being then only he can get it actually karma pro thank you pro karma applies to everyone uh, irrespective of whether you are a aquatic or a uh, you know stagger or uh, as, as we have seen uh, in in scriptures we we might have seen uh, the the past time around uh, bharat maharaj and um, he getting attached to the deer and then eventually uh, he was so attached to the deer that he here and uh, and so on and uh, uh, so uh, it passed to everyone and and then uh, he came back from that because he was very bright so so this uh, and there are references uh, to uh, all kind of uh, movement based on the transmigration so and it, apply, it applies to everyone uh, all the it applies to all the 8.4 million species and there is uh, that's the reason and you can by doing great work you can definitely go up the uh, uh, see there, there are different lokas and you can go above you can go down depending on where you are and as, as propat was uh, referring to you know there are vidyadharas there are yakshas and there there uh, you know personalities who sing uh, there are swini kumaras there so, so it applies to everyone to answer your question based on your deed you can definitely go up and there is a wonderful slope also if you spend your time with uh, mode of goodness with sattvika then you have a chance propensity to go up and if you're in the both passion and ignorance you have a chance of going down and uh, urtham gachanti there is a beautiful shloka in bhagavad gita uh, which talks about all species not just uh, human beings okay bro thank you prabhu ji yeah uh, prabhu ji yeah, yeah i would like to and one comment on that prabhu ji <coughs> the the 400000 species which you are talking it is in the whole universe probably not only earth what we are seeing is asteroid these are earth but as you and propad has mentioned prabhuji that in the higher planetary systems there are other species of life basically which are basically um hum, homo sapiens what we call but they are of a higher grade and now why i am linking this point is prabhuji so the karma this the i wanted to bring this point since we have new uh, comments also prabhu ji the darwin's theory of evolution states that we have progressed from a single cell to a homo sapien which is wrong this this clearly tells that the scriptures have clearly told much earlier than when even when darwin proposed the evolution theory that these 8 million 400 000 species have been existing only what changes is as we do our karma our consciousness evolves to evolves through these evolves or it traverses through these higher lower or that depends upon our net effect of the karma and our consciousness at the time of the death right that's what uh, bhagavad gita tells so these 8 million 400000 species are like your pigeon holes where we go and sit according to our consciousness at the time of the death and the karma we have accumulated during our lifetime 
based on that we take that one of the pigeon hole which is which is suitable for that effect of the karma as well as this so it is it is not that we have evolved uh, this human species has been evolved from monkey and like that monkey is was existing and homo sapiens were existing earlier also but as prabhu ji told we travel we traverse through these so these bodies mother nature that's what the mother nature decides what body should be assigned to us afterwards so that body is is the effect of our karma and our consciousness i wanted to add that prabhu uh Please. yes prabhu ji uh, you uh, added this now i remember i think fourth canto or somewhere the where they have uh, there is a different uh, planets has been planetary system has been mentioned so according to that the ghost goblins uh, that kind of things are also so, uh, certain species and uh, right. bhutan patan and so many uh, things are there so obviously uh, maybe uh, there are so many species are there which uh, we even do not know about it that's correct uh, now i recall yeah. prabhu ji thank you and they so, they they stay uh, they these are based on our bodies prabhu ji these planets are also position like that like this 14 planetary system of which what prabhu ji was mentioning the from the gargodaya vishnu's uh, brahma is born right Yes. and between this in the in that there are 14 planetary systems so according to our consciousness as you have told gandharvas so there are some like brahma is the highest level right prabhu ji brahma loka so based on the consciousness we go so as <laughs> only told brahma is not brahma is a position brahma is not a person brahma is a position occupied by the person who deserves it just like our president who occupies a seat based on his capabilities and how he wins the elections and all that right similarly prabhu ji as you have rightly told these 14 planetary systems have been um, accordingly framed uh, accordingly designed according to the the nature suppose earth has 65% water in the body because the earth's constituency is like that but if you go to sun the bodies will be different and the uh, position also in the planetary system is different so it's a it's a function of our uh, it's a function of our uh, um body as well as the position prabhu as you rightly told in the bar from bhagavata yes prabhu ji yeah, yeah. So, prabhu ji is showing the picture yeah yeah it's this is the exact exact one yes yeah. prabhu ji thanks thanks for sharing this uh, prabhu so so as you can see prabhu um, here we the garvadaksha vishnu who is sleeping on the garvadaka ocean from his navel as you can see from the navel there is a lotus emanating and from on the top of lotus you see brahma ji so brahma ji is like a prime minister it's a position and the person who is holding that position is that person so as you can see uh, so and there brahma ji is creating and you know the, he, he creates narad muni he creates uh, you know different personality is creates that rudras and and so many and then so that that planetary system has uh, 14 levels so we are right here bhulok and there are six uh, lokas which are above us bhuar loka swar loka mahar loka jana loka tap loka satya loka and then going down in term uh, words atala vitala sutala kalatala mahatala rasatala pa so it's so there are, there so the brahmanda as uh, there are putting lokas happen to be here so based on how we behave based on the spirits based on the consciousness based on uh, the consciousness based on the accumulated prarabdha karma during the life we may go up or we may go down all right and this is the okay, this is the second level garva the, the earlier is karma daksha karana karana means cause causal ocean so he is sleeping on the causal ocean and from there as we discussed universe is coming and here in the second level garvadaksha vishnu he is entering into the universe then there is another uh, depiction you seen kiradaksha uh, vishnu he is entering into the jiva so this is the middle uh, level of uh, no, in the context okay 
also prabhu ji um, i know it is we are at the top of the our class hour um one more point which i wanted to bring was prabhu ji um aham bija pratapita actually the science behind is also explained in the bhagavatam that um, as you showed in this picture prabhu ji um the through the through the glance of the mahavishnu which we call karan karnavada vishnu also known as another term mahavishnu so from the glance of the mahavishnu the um the shiva shiva has the potency shiv ji has the potency if you see prabhu ji on the left side um the abode of shiva is there and on the right side durga mata is there right so the glance of the vishnu through the shiva is nothing but a form of vishnu only prabhu ji or some energy of vishnu not form of vishnu energy of vishnu what we call the curd and the milk right so in that shiva interacts with mother nature durga and the all the species are generated uh, this is actually i wanted to bring the science behind the sarva yoni shu so through the glance uh, the uh, shiva in the glance shiva gets uh, empowered and the shiva unites with durga mata and produces durga mata is nothing but mother nature basically and uh, hope i made some point clear prabhu ji if not you can take it forward yeah so, uh, so yeah yeah so if we have to go detail into mm-hmm. that um, in uh, second canto of shrimad bhagavat which constitute the chatursh shloki it starts with sarga sarga means the primary creation sarga means secondary creation and this uh, you know goes on uh, maitreya vidur sambad in first canto shrimad bhagavatam third canto and we are discussing that so from that context as you can see from garvadaksha vishnu brahma ji from brahma ji rudra and then uh, there is uh, a discussion around of the origin of lord shiva and how he interacts with uh, interacts with uh, uh, durga devi and who is uh, uh, who is actually so most of the time it becomes confusing as to who is truly taking care of mother earth and mother earth is uh, so we think about the ceo ceo is actually a person uh, but when it comes to technology ke mera ho aao ja lek da lek da pade le aao ke pati aao ja ha yeah uh, as far as technology is concerned he is actually entitled the work to the cto to do the uh, technology angle he is given the cfo the responsibility to do the fine so but uh, and the technology that still been done under the supervision of the ceo the ceo is aware of it so in that context uh, as uh, lord krishna is explaining here ambija pratapita he is the seed giving father through the deep process the intermediate uh, personalities who are empowered to do certain things this is where lord brahma comes in lord shiva comes in so we just want to uh, discuss that so that we have a understanding with reference to this verse okay any other questions uh, we have new, uh, members uh, comments um, what uh, any thought to do and hari krishna bhavaji danda prana so very i today i'm late little bit like five minutes late so uh, prabhu ji i was attending one of the class from uh, his grace uh, radhasyam prabhu uh, yeah. so he was actually explaining a very good thing one thing that uh, you know like whenever a person dies right so basically he he carries three things prabhu ji to the next body okay one is you know whatever uh, uh, punya he earned right and whatever papa hi gan and secondly the bhakti ekshukriti okay 
so basically what happens the punya and papa is something you know at some at some point of time actually uh, it, it, it's like an account balance right it will be kind of zero okay? like it can be zero like punya and papa but bhakti sukuti is something prabhu ji it cannot be like negative okay it will be always positive okay? so whatever you add today like let, let's say you uh, chant let's say one round today right it will be kind of addition only okay it, it will never be subtraction okay? so so we have to be like little bit intelligence if you apply intelligence right so we have to be focus in something which cannot be negative okay so basically right yeah so he was explaining very good so i just want to say that yeah yeah you are right bro so that's why uh, it is referred that uh, this, this loving devotional service is absolute what is absolute if you have absolute function If you apply absolute function on minus three, it's plus three. If you apply absolute function plus three, it is plus three. So there is so these things doesn't go away. That's the reason why more and more we end up doing devotional service stays with us and it uh, transcends with us as we transmigrate, uh, which is not what you mentioned. So it's an absolute thing. The the and punya they tend to um sort of balance but bhakti is certain things which can only grow and grow and grow. the more and more we end up doing nothing goes when it comes to devotional service thanks to thanks for pointing that out yeah one point prabhu ji same what you both mentioned uh, you are niranjan prabhu the um nishkam karma is the 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 final aim of uh, what bhagavad gita is explaining is nishkam karma prabhu ji so that there is no addition and subtraction business uh, it's only a cumulative business and krishna clearly says that says that whatever you do is cumulated to your is carried down to your next which is the sukriti prabhu, prabhu ji basically so he was defining sukriti and uh, nishkam karma basically prabhu ji, which you have explained as Uh, always positives there and as prabhu ji told their absolutes they never change their magnitude basically yeah so, so nishkam karma that's why the devotional service makes that our karma is nishkam it is neither positive nor negative but it is neutral basically always right right so let's that is the service yeah sorry prabhu yeah let's discuss that a little bit as we have some uh, new members so you try to build a hospital uh, and that is uh, what you know there are three kinds of karma right we have uh, karma akarma vikarma so karma in that con- this contest is building a hospital good thing you did a hospital you get some pious credits but once you enjoy those pious credits you have one second zero and suppose you do a bad karma which is vikarma and you end up doing good things after that by just to zero but so that means this karma and vikarma have reactions to it but akarma or a class karma has no reaction so that means if you chant one round to do some work so that's like a balance which is which is there there is no reaction to it so so bhakti has action because you're not doing something for yourself or your ego or your uh, this thing so we recognize that once a person works at the level a karma platform a karma doesn't mean that he is the or what karma means a class karma once a person is an a class doing a class karma by doing devotional service he is devoid of any reaction coming from the neutralization aspect of it when you do a good thing there is a reaction whenever you do a bad there is a reaction but anything is without the reaction is that bhakti aspect which we all are talking about which krishna mentions in bhagavad gita as akarma more and more we do akarma we have less and less reaction in our life and then we become detached from this plus and minus we get detached from this charity and enjoyment we become totally surrendered in our uh, which is exemplification 
uh, you find in Srila Prabhupada. Total surrender, actually. Prabhupada Prabhupada, difficulty in his life, right from the from his young life. But his life is totally committed serving the Supreme. And as you can see, he was devoid of any action or reaction. But he was, his life was full of action, but never for himself or trying to do something or uh, the benefit of his enjoyment and things like that. He was, he was detached from the action, from, from the reaction of the fruits of the action. I don't know if I clarified it. But that's all I wanted to say. And, but if anybody wants to add, you definitely can ask a question. Any other question, comments? I hope uh, you all can join next. Uh, we, we're going to discuss more and we have Sunday feast program tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have the last day of Kartik month where we're going to celebrate Kartik Purnima or Sri Krishna Rasa Purnima and uh, that's the last day where we offer the years for the last time to Lord Dhamudara for this year. So wonderful opportunity to come to temple at 7 p.m. and be part of the festivities and on that day we doing something which is called float your diyas. Um, on this day, people uh, offer their diyas and float in the water, uh, considering that uh, they and their ancestors can from this material ocean, floating the diyas on the water. Uh, so it has a very you know, somber uh, meaning. And for the last time, we're going to do the Amadarastakam at 8 p.m. So if you come at 7 o'clock, or to serve in any way, you can definitely connect. The festivity starts at 7 p.m. The Kartik Purnima or Sri Krishna Rash Purnima starts on the uh, Monday at 7 p.m. in the evening in temple. It goes on and Saturday in the Prasad feast at 7.30. So you can always have nice uh, dinner. On the Monday, go back home, uh, bidding goodbye to this auspicious month. Of uh, Prabhuji, uh, so the floating of Diyas uh, and uh, Damodar Arti when, when it will start, Prabhuji? Uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. So, so uh, 7 o'clock we're going to have Gaur Arti, then Nusha okay. 7, uh, and then we're going to have nice Kirtan, then we'll have a little announcement at 8 o'clock, and uh, the floating of the Diyas is going to start at 8 5, it goes all the way to 8. 30 and 8 30 we have to have the south feast room but try okay. to come at seven o'clock so that you become we are having some uh, nice sweet kita to kind of uh, get into the mode of uh, bidding goodbye to the month of Karthik. Uh, on this month of Karthik, so many beautiful pastimes uh, occurred uh, diwali coronation of ram ram rajya the 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 tying of uh, um, waste by by Mother Yashoda, he could only be bound by love, and and so many beautiful uh, times the go puja where Krishna lifted Govardhan, so many powerful pastimes happened in Karthik. So Karthik is a very important month. So please join. Is it seven or eight? Because some calendars say eight is the last day. Uh, in uh, uh, New Jersey, Prabhu, based on okay. my based on uh, the latitude longitude of New Jersey, it is to uh, Monday. Seventh. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. As per uh, Iskon calendar seventh, and uh, for for uh, Greek Panchang, so that is also seventh. It was showing. So, is there any other comments, questions? Anybody wants to ask before we end? So, let's end here uh, by offering um, prayers to the Shasvancha, 